Today's very special Weird AF News centers around conspiracy theories. This is the top 10 weirdest coronavirus-related conspiracies I could find on the web. One of these is fake. I made it up myself. See if you can guess which one it is. This is Jonesy, the host of Weird AF News, the only daily weird news podcast hosted by a comedian. I'm happy you're here. Let's get into these conspiracy theories, shall we? You're listening to Weird AF News with Jonesy. Coronavirus conspiracy theory number 10. It came from outer space. With the corona pandemic continuing to spread around the globe, people are panicking. They're looking for answers. They're looking for explanations. One wild theory has made its way around the web that the virus came from space. Chandra Wickramasinghe, known for his work in astronomy and astrobiology. You all know Chandra Wickramasinghe. I don't need to go over his resume right now. We're all familiar. (laughs) Chandra apparently spread the idea that the virus was living on a comet. And a piece of that comet may have fell to Earth during a brief fireball event over China in October 2019. He further implies that comets carrying viruses may have caused other outbreaks in the past as well. But like what? Like the Black Plague? Well, Wikrama Singh has asserted that another disease that we all know of, SARS, also came from space. He even wrote a book in the 70s called Diseases from Space and for decades has tried to prove that diseases like SARS or influenza have actually come from outer space. Unfortunately, as you can imagine, scientists have rebuked Wickrama Singh's suggestions that any such illness might have extraterrestrial origins, and his ideas have largely been considered pseudoscience or bad science. Here's a quote from a real scientist. It's one of those cases where extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, even though the space theory is an interesting idea. We just don't have any reason to embrace that at the present moment. Theoretically, biological materials could survive on a space rock, lie dormant, and continue to survive if they were poorly shielded, uh, properly shielded from the radiation in space and survive the process of impacting Earth as well. Noting that uh, scientists have found organic molecules such as amino acids inside meteorites. However, despite these theoretical possibilities, there is no credible evidence to show that the new coronavirus came from outer space. Corona conspiracy number nine. The coronavirus is a marketing scheme by hand sanitizer companies. (laughs) Yes, hand washing, hand sanitizing. It's a key element in the prevention of of the coronavirus, as everyone knows. Hand sanitizer sales have gone through the roof. Enormous amounts of hand sanitizer being purchased on a daily, everywhere. You can't find it at certain stores. People are fist fighting over over hand sanitizer in Walmart. Oh, yes. Was the COVID-19, in fact, a scheme devised by antibacterial gel companies to increase sales? Hmm, it sounds plausible. It makes sense to me. This product was, you could get at the dollar store for a dollar hand sanitizer. Now look what it costs. If you had an opportunity to increase your sales, wouldn't you do it? I see what you're up to, hand sanitizer company. And let me tell you something. I'm not going to fall victim to what you're doing. I'm going to make my own hand sanitizer at home using Tito's vodka. And you can't stop me. Ha ha. (laughs) Coronavirus conspiracy theory number eight. COVID-19 was created by Netflix to tie in with their new series, Pandemic. Could it be sheer coincidence? Or did Netflix take marketing schemes to the next level by creating COVID-19 in order to promote their new docuseries, Pandemic? The streaming platform's new show discusses how to prevent an outbreak and launched suspiciously around the same time that the global pandemic escalated. Did they invent self-isolation as well? We are watching a lot more streaming television than we ever have. A lot more series, like The Tiger King, which they also launched around the same time as the virus. Hmm, what are you up to, Netflix? I see what's going on here. And did you know that in the first quarter of 2020, Netflix revealed some impressive earnings? They actually added... 15.8 million new subscribers worldwide, which is a company record. Uh Aha, I think the proof is right there. Obviously, it's Netflix has created this so that we'll stay home. We'll watch Tiger King. We'll watch Pandemic. Every other show that they have, we'll subscribe. We'll 
sit there like a zombie eating Cheetos, watching Netflix. I know what you're up to, Netflix. Don't think you can fool me. And in, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read a book. Yeah, take that, Netflix. I'll be reading a book called Pandemic. All right? I won't be watching it. Yay! Coronavirus conspiracy theory number seven. GMOs are the cause. Genetically modified crops have been a target of conspiracy theorists for many years. So it was hardly a surprise to see GMOs blamed in the early stages of the COVID pandemic. Really responsible was uh, Italian attorney Francesco Bellotta, who wrote a bizarre article falsely claiming that GM crops cause genetic pollution that allows viruses to proliferate due to the resulting environmental imbalance. Anti-GMO activists have also tried to blame modern agriculture, which is strange since the known path of the virus into the human population, as with Ebola, HIV, and many others, was through the very ancient practice of people capturing and killing wildlife. Ironically, GMOs will almost certainly be part of any vaccine solution to this, to this pandemic. If any of the ongoing 70 vaccine projects work, which is a big if, that would be pretty much the only guaranteed way the world can get out of the COVID mess. Vaccines could be based on either GM attenuated viruses or use antigens produced in GM insect cell lines or plants. I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. <laughs> If GMOs do help save the world from the curse of COVID, maybe they'll stop being a dirty word these days. Oh, yes. <laughs> Coronavirus conspiracy theory number six. COVID is a plot by Big Pharma. Oh, conspiracy theorists love to blame things on Big Pharma. Some conspiracists depend for their own market, getting people to believe that evidence-based medicine doesn't really work. That way they can sell you their quacky vitamin-based cures. Uh, these people are saying that COVID is a big plot by pharma to make us all ill. Big pharma conspiracies are a staple of anti-vaccination narratives as well, so it's not surprising that they have transmuted this to the coronavirus. And many conspiracy theory promoters are in reality clever actors just trying to sell you some products. Alex Jones, between rants about hoaxes and the New World Order, urges viewers to buy expensive miracle pills that he claims can cure all known diseases. Dr. Mercola, a quack anti-vaxxer and anti-GMO medic who has been banned from Google due to peddling misinformation, claims that vitamins and numerous other products that he sells can cure or prevent COVID. And uh, there was even a, a story I came across. Jim Baker, the televangelist, claimed to be selling a cure to COVID as well. These people, of course thrive on conspiracy theories so that your fear will force you to open up your wallet and look to them for a cure by ordering their miracle beef jerky or whatever they're selling. <laughs> Which reminds me, guys, I I have invented a jello that uh, that cures the, the disease. If you'd like to order, I have it in four flavors. We have strawberry, kiwi, watermelon, and purple. It's not even a flavor, it's a color. But yeah, buy my curative jello. It'll... <laughs> Disclaimer, I don't have a jello that cures the COVID-19, okay? <laughs> Coronavirus conspiracy number five. The virus can spread to anybody who sings the Batman theme song from the old TV show. Yes, at the end of the day, this is all about bats. Am I right? Everyone believes that the COVID was created by a bat. What they don't really know is that it spreads if you sing the Batman theme song. This is this is very concerning because the Batman theme song is quite popular these days, as you know. I sing it all the time in the shower. I don't know about you. I've had to cut loose the Batman theme song from my life because I'm just a little too scared that it'll spread to me after reading about this this new conspiracy theory that's really come to the forefront. So whatever you do, guys, try. Please try hard not to sing the Batman theme song. You know, you know how it goes. Ba -na 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 -na. Batman, Batman, Bat. Oh shit! You like podcasts? You're listening to my podcast. Maybe you thought to yourself, "I'd like to make a podcast." 
Too difficult? No, not with Anchor. Anchor has free creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor distributes your podcast to Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. They have advertising integration, so you can even make a little money off your podcast. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your creation. Good luck with your life, man. Coronavirus conspiracy number four. The coronavirus doesn't actually exist. According to professional conspiracy theorists like Mr. David Icke, uh, COVID-19 doesn't really exist. It's a plot by the globalist elite to take away your freedom. Early weak versions of this theory were prevalent on the political right in the notion that the coronavirus would be, quote, no worse than the flu. Yeah, you remember that one? Later versions are now influencing anti-lockdown protesters across several states in the U.S., including my state of California, because the believers increasingly refuse to observe social distancing measures. Yeah, we had a, a large protest in Southern California in Orange County, a beach community. A lot of people came out. They had signs and they were yelling about the fact that they wanted their hair salons to open up and their nail salons and they wanted to have drinks at the bar and, and that their freedoms were being in we're being taken away. Uh, these these are idiots, by and large, I'd say, uh, and people who are just extremely selfish. If you actually believe, though, that the COVID nineteen doesn't really exist, I don't know if this Mister David Ike does so, but wow, you got to be out of your mind to do that. Um, I really don't think professional conspiracy theorists are really adding any any quality to our culture these days. If anything, they're just creating fear. And it's a damn shame that people like this have an audience. Oh, I can't stand it. Listen, if you guys believe that it doesn't exist, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Whether you believe it exists or not, please don't leave your house. Just stay home. I don't want you out there mingling in the culture without your mask and getting all up and close in people's faces. These are the kind of people that will run up and kiss you on the cheek without a warning. This is the problem. Conspiracy theory number three. Disney Plus released COVID-19 in time for its launch. Oh, Disney, you evil company. It might just be pure coincidence, but conspiracy theorists on the internet are convinced that Disney launched their own streaming service conveniently in time for the coronavirus lockdown, just like Netflix did. I see. I get, I'd imagine... Perhaps these streaming services all getting together, including Hulu, creating this virus in a lab so that we'll all stay home and watch their streaming services and subscribe to their services, watch their stocks go through the roof, their subscriber numbers go up. Yeah, I know what you're up to, Disney+. Plus. Well, uh, we do have a lot more time on our hands now to watch Frozen 2, so I think there's something to this theory. I really do. Well, I'll have you know, Disney, I'm not going to buy into your Disney Plus streaming program. Not only do I not like your programming very much anyways, I I really love playing solitaire, okay? And I'm just, I got my deck of cards here. I'm in isolation and I'm playing solitaire. How do you like that? You're not getting my money, Disney. Oh, wait a minute. Do you think the COVID was created by the bicycle playing card company because they know a lot of people will be playing solitaire in solitude? Oh, a new theory abounds, perhaps. Coronavirus conspiracy theory number two. 5G networks can spread the virus. The conspiracy theory that seems easy to debunk. It, is it biologically possible for viruses to spread using the electromagnetic spectrum? The latter are waves, photons, while the former are biological particles composed of proteins and nucleic acids. But that isn't really the point. Conspiracy theories are enticing because they often link two things which at first might appear to be correlated. In this case, the rollout of 5G network works was taking place at the same time the pandemic hit. Ooh, cue the viral meme linking the two. This was promoted by anti-vaccine activists who have long been spreading fears about electromagnetic radiation. It's worth repeating, as the World Health Organization points out, that viruses cannot travel on mobile networks, you idiots, and that COVID-19 is spreading rapidly in many countries that, in fact, do not have 5G networks, you dummies. Even so, this conspiracy theory, after being spread by celebrities with big social media followings and no brains whatsoever, 
has led to cell phone towers being set on fire in the UK and elsewhere. <laughs> now, you would think that most people are reasonable and they, they can imagine that a virus wouldn't spread on your mobile network. <laughs> but I guess people need to be told this. You celebrities are so, you know, out of touch, apparently, that they think that this could happen. What happened, man? I think I got the swine flu by listening to the radio. Yeah, did you know you could catch the flu through the radio? My goodness. If you like podcasts, check out Spotify. You can listen to all your favorite artists and podcasts in one place for free. You don't even need a premium account. Spotify has a huge selection of podcasts on every topic, including this one that you're listening to right now. And you can easily share what you're listening to with friends on Instagram as well. So download the Spotify app, search for your favorite podcast, and also make sure to follow Weird AF News and never miss an episode. Yes, download Spotify and make your life easier. Coronavirus conspiracy number one, 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 one. Bill Gates is responsible. You know, Bill Gates has advocated for pandemic preparedness for many years. He famously gave a TED Talk in 2015 that warned of the potentially staggering death toll a worldwide pandemic could create. As the coronavirus pandemic has spread around the world, Gates has pledged $250 million to fight the disease and create a vaccine. Incredibly, it's these two factors that provide the foundation of a new set of conspiracy theories that point to Bill Gates as the origin of the coronavirus. And those conspiracy theories have rapidly gone from fringe online conspiracy theorists to the mouths of conservative pundits. The theories connected Gates to the coronavirus beginning in January uh, with a YouTube personality who claimed that Gates had prior knowledge of the coronavirus pandemic. Days later, the website InfoWars, run by Mr. Alex Jones, a conspiracy theorist who claims that the Sandy Hook shooting was a hoax, published a piece that incorrectly stated the Gates Foundation co-hosted a pandemic ex exercise in late 2019 that simulated a global coronavirus outbreak. They've attempted to connect the Gates Foundation's ongoing investments in fighting global pandemics to prior knowledge of the coronavirus pandemic. Mentions of coronavirus-related Bill Gates conspiracy theories have exploded on social media. They were mentioned 1.2 million times in the last two months, according to data provided to the New York Times by Media Intelligence from Zignal Labs. Those conspiracy theories have spread from fringe right-wing conspiracy theorists like Jones to conservative pundits like Fox News host Laura Ingraham. Gates responded to some of these theories when asked on television. He's quoted as saying... I'd say it's ironic that you take someone who's doing their best to get the world ready and putting, in my case, billions of dollars into these tools for infectious diseases and really trying to solve broadly infectious diseases, including those that cause pandemics. But, you know, we're in a crazy situation, so there's going to be crazy rumors. This guy is just so calm and cool. I guess when you're a billionaire, it's easy to be calm and cool when people talk crap about you. I'm grateful we have a guy like this out there who's using his money to at least some of his money, to uh, try and solve some problems because you can't count on politicians to get to the bottom of this and solve problems. They don't even know what to do with money. You give them a bunch of money, they're like, I don't know, I'll, uh, maybe I'll spray the, the beach with bleach. Is, would that fix things? But no, we got a smart guy like Bill Gates. I feel bad that these weird conspiracy theories have popped up around him. I don't buy any of it, any of this crap. Yeah, I love you, Bill Gates, if you're listening to Weird AF News. Keep doing what you're doing. Enjoy my Patreon. Hey, fellow weirdos, this is Jonesy, the host of Weird AF News. Of course, who else would it be? Thank you for joining me today for this special episode of Weird AF News. I know that you guys are reasonable human beings and therefore don't spread conspiracy theories that sound like they were made up by uh, fantastical children. Uh, I came across an article that explains why conspiracy theories are created and uh, what do we do about them. And it mentions at the end, it is possible to intervene and halt the spread of conspiracy theories. Research shows that campaigns promoting counter-arguments to medical conspiracy theories are likely to have some success in rectifying conspiracy beliefs. Conspiracy theories can be very harmful for society. Not only can they influence people's health choices, they can interfere with how different groups relate to each other and increase hostility and violence towards those who are perceived to be, quote, conspiring. 
So as well as acting to combat the spread of the coronavirus, governments should also act to stop misinformation and conspiracy theories relating to the virus from getting out of hand. And in a way, I'm sort of spreading some uh, disinformation, but I think that you all know that this is done in jest. I'm all about humor and comedy here on Weird AF News, so I chose the strangest, funniest conspiracy theories I could. I hope you could pick out the one that I made up that's within there. It's the craziest of all, probably. But some of them are pretty out there, so it may not be so apparent which one I made up. Uh, and just to let you know as a disclaimer, you should never trust in these theories. You should trust only in the recommendations from real health professionals and organizations. These are our important resources for dealing with a health crisis. Um, and so, you know, anybody who isn't accredited, uh, you, you, you know, you really should be cautious. You know, even with politicians, be cautious. Wait for the scientists to come on the screen and start talking to you before you go grab the bleach and start huffing it. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, lastly, if you have, not lastly, but if you have any conspiracy theories that are pretty weird about the coronavirus that you'd like to call me and explain, I'd love to hear any new ones. I'm always open for the weirdest. The weirder, the better. My number is 646-450-2012. You can email me funnyjones at gmail.com. And on Instagram, I'm at funnyjones. Yeah. As always, I have a Patreon that you can check out. It's patreon.com slash weirdafnews where you can get uh, bonus episodes, like the one I just uploaded with my friend my friend Dave Neal, who's a very funny comedian. The bonus episodes are a little bit different. Uh, I do about an hour of stories with another comedian or a friend, uh, someone who's probably usually funnier than me. I've also been uploading weird entertainment suggestions for those of you who are in a lockdown and need something to watch or listen to or read. And I'll be doing that on an ongoing basis on the Patreon. You can also download my comedy album for free. It's on there. And it's about an hour long, and it's a good way to kill the time as well. Why not? It's free. Download it. You can do that. It's no problem. And if you join the Patreon at a certain level, okay, a certain commitment will get you a gift in the mail. That's right. I will mail you a weird gift from Japan. Uh, I was in Japan for two weeks, and there's a lot of weird stuff going on over there, and I brought some of it home, and it's ready to go. Some of you have received this gift, and I've gotten very good feedback. So if you join the Patreon at a certain level, you'll get a gift as well. It's what's the what's the website you're wondering? Oh, so I got you back. It's patreon.com slash weird AF news. And while we're on the topic, I had a new patron that has joined as of this morning. And uh, you know how happy I get when I open my email and I find somebody that's joined the Patreon like like Mr. Nick Mount. Nick Mount joined the Patreon. Unbelievable. First of all, he has an amazing name. Sounds like a porn star, right? Nick Mount. That's a great porn star name. Or, or for like a cowboy, because you have to mount a horse all the time. It's either a cowboy or a porn star. This is what Nick is, I'd imagine. He's joined the Patreon, and I, I can't thank you enough, Nick. Nick Mount has joined the Patreon. Nick Mount on his horse. He's so cool. He's a porn star riding a horse. I don't know. I just thought I'd sing a little ditty to Nick Mount. Um, Nick Mount, you're the man. Thank you. And anybody who joins the Patreon, you know what I'll do. You know what I'll do this week. If you join the Patreon, I'll sing a little song for you as well, a little ditty. Yeah, whatever it takes to get you to check it out. Patreon.com/slash/WeirdAFNews. It's just another way to support the show while Jonesy's out of work. Why not? Why not? Feel good about it. You know I'm going to spend the money on good things, right? I'm going to spend it on quality stuff, like copious amounts of extremely strong caffeine. Caffeine. What did you think I was going to say? Drugs? What? Get your mind out of the gutter, you weirdo. I was going to say caffeine the whole time, and you know this, okay? You know what I'm into. You know what I'm about, all right? I'm trying to stay out of prison. You know, I can't be recording the show from prison, all right? <laughs>